Finky is a robotic finger that uses flexible parts instead of traditional joints. Each knuckle has two plastic springs, which replace the need for bolts and bearings. This design allows the whole finger to be 3D printed in one piece with no assembly required. This is crucial for me because I want there to be an option for printing a whole hand that I can immediately use. Soon we will have robots that can pick our noses for us. Putting together a robot finger can be quite difficult. For example, Will Cogley's amazing robot hand project resulted in a beautiful hand, but look at all the parts needed to make it. That's a lot of assembly time. For my finger, I decided to use flexures to eliminate separate parts altogether because I wanted a finger that could be used straight off the printer. Let's look at a single finky knuckle. It has two springs, one twist clockwise and the other counterclockwise. Both are connected in the middle. This bending mechanism, called a flexure, allows me to use PLA, a common but usually less durable 3D printing plastic. The springs distribute the bending stress across the whole length of the spring, making it much more resilient. This means the knuckle can be bent thousands of times without breaking. To add these flexures into a fingy design, I began by studying a biomechanical diagram of the human finger. By sketching it out, I got an idea of how to connect the joints and tendons into a single part. I would need three spiral flexure joints for each knuckle and three separate tendons. After that, I designed the hand in CAD and printed a 3D model on my printer. Getting back to the full finger, we can see that it can grip objects adaptively. When one part of the finger encounters resistance, the rest of the finger continues to clench. Finky is also back drivable, meaning it responds compliantly when force is applied instead of stiffly resisting and potentially breaking. Finky needs more brothers and sisters before he can do a high five. Right now, it's just a lame high one. While designing Finky, I discovered another project using flexures at Carnegie Mellon's Create Lab. Their hand uses S flexures for knuckle joints and seems to use a different plastic than PLA. In my experience, when I print S flexures in PLA, they tend to break quickly after extensive use. And when they are stretched, they get deformed, which is why I'm using spiral springs for knuckles. I'm Adrian Perez, and this is Finny. If you want the files for Finny, they'll be on Patreon, which luckily I've finally set up. So you can join us there. And if you'd like to see future things like the hand I'm going to develop and other mechanical wonders, then please like and subscribe. For the future, there's a lot to improve on Fingy. The tendon should apply symmetric force. For example, the tip of the finger should have the tendon in the middle instead of where it currently is. The current tendon bends the tip to the side. The second segment should have a symmetrical Y-shaped tendon that wraps around the middle tendon. The final part should have a tendon that wraps around the other two. Fixing these tendons will make Fingy's movement far more centered. Additionally, the tendons need connection points for the motors. But that's all for version number two. Thank you. Say goodbye, Fingy. Goodbye. Goodbye.